Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. I'm wearing the tank I got my last vlog, the Dolly Parton fan club. So cute. I'm actually just wearing clothes to work out, but I'm not working out until later this afternoon. I'm gonna try on days. I don't know. I'm gonna try a good afternoon midday slump workout because on days that I'm not filming, I feel like it's doable and it might really help me. Anyways, today is Tuesday. We go on our road trip tomorrow. So today I'm just getting some work done, some homework done, and, and then it's gonna be like a pack with me, just kind of like prep with me for a trip vlog. You guys have seemed to really like these in the past, so that's what we're doing. And yes, I will be vlogging the actual like road trip portion. I'm not gonna vlog like when we get there and stuff. But so just to be clear, um, for the road trip, we literally drove to Quentin's family's house and then like that's it, and we're driving back to my house. So it's basically like we were going to like my parents' house, but a longer drive. Anyways, Fitz is crying big time. I just like lathered my face in oil. My like tanner on my arms is so bad, but since like obviously I haven't really been leaving my house much, I've been letting it just like kind of come off and then I'm gonna try to fix it today. Scrub it all off, start from scratch, see what happens. Fitz is crying big time today and we think it's because Coco is at my sister's house. Explain this in the last vlog and I just know that because we just got a new puppy, I'm gonna get so many comments like this, but long story short, Q and I have had this road trip planned to see his family and we weren't going to take Coco anyways Especially when we have so much family here that will just watch her and she'll have a better time with like her or whatever And also they have really big dogs there and they live on land like blah 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 whatever She's just too small So we were always planning on her staying at my sister's house with her dog and just having like a fun little vacation thing Then we got Fitz which we knew was a possibility like if we got a dog before the road trip We'd have to take the dog one. It's a lot to ask Two, It's just like we need to be with him like I wouldn't get a puppy and then like just pawn him off So anyways long story short, we're gonna be road tripping with Fitz Coco wouldn't even want to do a road trip that long like anyways long story short It's what's best for both of the dogs. I'm not neglecting Coco. Um but yeah, I feel like I just have to like over explain this stuff because I know that the comments are coming. If you guys are new here, subscribe. I really miss Coco when we dropped her off yesterday, which is literally just for a few days. I like teared up. Like I'm so ridiculous and it's actually embarrassing. Anyways, it is 9 a.m. I went on the rooftop this morning and did my nice Devo. I'm feeling great. I'm about to go get some work done in my office and I'm actually recording with Renee Carlino. She's one of my favorite authors, like, Before We Were Strangers, uh, Wish You Were Here. Anyways, he's going crazy, and we're convinced it's because Coco's not in there with him. So I'm gonna go get some work done. Talk to you soon. So anyways, like, uh, Fitz? He's just staring at me. Um, it's definitely because Coco's not in here. But like I said, I have some work to get done. I'm gonna edit some TikToks, do all that stuff. I need to, like, send in some assignments as well. So that is the current plan. Today is gonna be a pretty... Oh, I'm also gonna make lasagna soup. We've got a full day ahead, guys. The maniac has come to work. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Hmm. Guys, he's like crying because he misses Coco. It's so sad. It's seriously so sad. Like he got out of his crate and then he went to hers. Aw, you miss your sister? Well, she's having the time of her life. I hate to break it to you. She really is. Cutie, cutie. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Fitz can be a bit controlling. He really wants to make the final edits. Fitz, what? He didn't like the shot apparently. He tried to delete it just now. You need to go hang out with your dad. Yes, you do. Oh, what are you doing now? All right, guys, I'm about to record with Renee Carlino, one of my favorite authors. So exciting. Um, this whole, okay, it's my arm. This whole recording on Zoom thing is not that bad, gotta be honest, kinda into it. Okay, guys, so it is almost one now and I was hoping I would be ready to make lunch like an hour ago. Just got a lot of work done. The recording was great, that'll be up soon. Um, this week's episode, which will already be up by the time this vlog goes up, is with Connor of The Bachelor in Bachelor in Paradise. You guys are very excited. I've seen the DMs for this episode, so I'm pumped for that. I'm about to get the little angel up, wake him up, because he needs to go outside, and then I'm gonna get to cooking and running a few errands and stuff downstairs. He just like, hi, are you ready? We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna go downstairs. He just like doesn't care. I'm making lasagna soup. No, oh, he's going to the bathroom. All right, guys, I'm making lasagna soup really quick. Um, this is a pretty easy recipe. Uh, this is a pretty easy thing to make, and we're going to have it for lunch and dinner because we're going out of town tomorrow. 
Um, and so I just want to make it and have it ready. Sometimes I'll do this. I'll just eat the same thing all day. But anyways, I'm having my favorite dip as I cook. I'm just tired. I need food. You know, kind of feeling that midday whatever. I'm using the Dutch oven, surprise, surprise. I'm just sauteing onions, Italian sausage, and then ground beef. This is like seriously so easy. I've been making soups all week because it's just so freaking easy. Um, I love the tortellini one better than this, but it just depends on your vibe. Like, I don't know. Just personally, that's more of my vibe. But anyways, after this, I'm just going to add in tomato paste, chicken broth, um, crushed tomatoes, and then like all the seasoning. So we'll do like fennel and you guys will see. I'll show you. All right guys, in 30 minutes, just to the lasagna soup. It's essentially just like deconstructed lasagna. I'm actually listening to a health podcast and just thinking about how when I get back, I'm gonna get so into healthy cooking and like vitamins and I don't know. I just haven't been feeling my best, um, which I think it's actually like a hormone thing. I wanna get all that checked, but I love this. It's so good with that being said. I'll never be, you know, I'll always eat what I want kind of thing, but I love this. Anyways, this is like super, super easy to make though. All right, here's a lasagna soup for lunch. Looks so good. Wow. Now that I'm listening to this like health podcast though, I'm like, I can't believe I'm eating this, but here we are. Guys, my friend Caitlin at Days with Kate on Instagram just sent this for Fitzweb Piper. So freaking funny. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I broke out in hives on like half of my face and my neck. I don't know. I was really anxious. So like, I don't know. I'm driving to my dad's to go run on the treadmill. I just took like an hour nap because out of nowhere, I was like, I'm so tired. Like, I feel like my skin, like not even just my face, but it's just like puffy and like, I don't know. I mean, I have a really bad bruise, so maybe iron deficiency, guys. I hate that I keep talking about this in vlogs, but I feel like it's just so obvious. I don't know, just not feeling my best. So when I get back from this road trip, I'm gonna go get like my hormone levels and stuff tested too gonna make those appointments tomorrow why isn't this quinton i can't i mess up the celsius i mess up the celsius how do i do this how hope you're not me hi hello no i fixed it now just now no thanks to you wait hi fitz cranberry lemonade hi fitz hi fitz i love you your paws are so big you're gonna be such a big boy such a big boy such a big boy okay Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Goodbye, I guess. What'd you hit? Okay. Cranberry lemonade Celsius is the best flavor. It is really good. I describe it to Kinsey as... I called you Kinsey, that's weird. I describe it to Kinsey <laughs> as summer in a cup. It's really good. It is really good. Okay, I'm gonna like blast music and drive and go run so I somehow get energy, which is a very backwards thing. But I think it will work. It's science. You release endorphins when you run. Guys, stay imagine imagine not being able to like live your life because you say something and then he gives you like the scientific data behind like, it uh, and you're like evidence. That's what I need it. Facts. All of the above. <laughs> love you, bye. I'm back in the gym. Oh, why is my oh it's my security system. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna listen to a podcast and run. I need this fan, it's actually so hot, guys. Literally, it's so hot. It's 3.32 currently. Back from my run and I got a package from, I don't know how to pronounce it, so that's the brand. Um, but I'm really excited, there's a lot of sheet masks. We have a tea tree and then this one is vitamin C, brighten and glow. I might actually put this one on when I go shower. And then a hydration. We have some little snacks here. A cleansing, or no, this is the serum, I wanna try that. Um, a cleansing water. I'm excited to try all of these, but I can't really. What is that? I'm gonna. That's interesting. And then a spike. Okay. Cotton pots for your face. And then let's see what this is. Wait, no way. This is really cool. Okay, so it's a self watering desert planter. Very excited. 
this is like really cool. So it's aloe. I'm actually pumped about this because I'm also very Irish and I burn really easily. So this looks really cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly show you a little Princess Polly haul. I separated it into what I was bringing on the road trip and what I'm not. First, starting off, okay, this top is gonna be interesting if I can actually wear it because I have a bigger chest, but it's very odd. You'll have to see it on. It's one of those like scarf tops. Um, and then I got another Ragged Priest long sleeve. I love my other one and this one's like a mesh, so it's cool. I need to get a good black like bralette that I can wear. I just thought that this was super fun and cool. Then I got this little yellow top. I just don't have many tops, which is what I'm like really trying to order right now, but I mainly got dresses in this order. This is super cute. Oh, I love this top, okay? The only thing that worries me is like self-tanner. <laughs> As we know, it's always what worries me, but I just thought this was super, super cute. I love the little like corset top. It's just, I don't know, I think it's so fun. And then this is like a nightgown looking dress. This is super fun for like a summer night out, um, wearing it with like little heels, kitten heels or something, and cute little fun oversized jacket. Then over here, I just got a nude swimsuit. This is the top, I'll be bringing that. A white tank top that is a lot more conservative than my other tank tops. So it's actually like not really cropped or, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit cropped, but you know what I mean. Then I got this cute little dress that I love. I just need so many dresses because that's basically what I live in in the summer. This pretty blue romper. I didn't realize it was a romper. I probably wouldn't have gotten it had I known, but I'm glad that I did. Super cute, fun. Then I got this. This is not like my typical pattern that I would get, but I thought it was cool. Um, a silky dress. And then I love this one, guys. This green little scrunch like mini dress. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. This with like Air Force Ones and my cute little socks. Love. So, that is what I got from Princess Polly. Pretty much all of this is gonna go with me on my road trip. I just think that they're super cute. Got a 40 ounce Smoothie King smoothie because it was, as we know, not feeling my best today. So DoorDash this, I'll have a link to my DoorDash code down below. It's not a code, it's a link. But if you guys sign up with the link, you guys get $15 credit. I get the angel food and not angel hair for all my haters that for some reason everyone's been getting really mad at me lately because I keep accidentally saying that so anyways so good all right guys I've started packing I just have dresses t-shirts tops one pair of jeans shorts one pair of sweatpants um bras underwear swimsuit pajamas all of that stuff this is only a little the suitcase is way too big but my carry-on is way too small so, um, I still have a load of laundry that I need to put away, so I'll definitely grab some stuff, and then I need to grab my workout stuff, actually. I'm not sure if we're going to work out, but here's the thing. Like, we don't really know. I mean, we do know how long we're going to be there, but I don't know our exact plans, and we... I don't know, guys. So, I'm just bringing as much as possible because we're driving, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and I literally just threw everything in here, and normally I, like, roll it really neatly, and I'm just not doing that, so... Guys, Bible study is done. I went out to take Fitz out for literally two seconds and I have mosquito bites all over me. Anyways, it is currently 9 at 13. Literally mosquito bites all over and I have the world's biggest bruise. Okay, so basically I literally walked into my truck. Well, my dad's truck, but like I just didn't feel, I mean, I knew it hurt, but like not that bad. I feel like that's a little bit dramatic, um, even though it actually did hurt really bad. I don't know where Fitz went. He just got off of his leash. Having a puppy is genuinely a full-time job. Fitz, where did you go? Oh, there you are. There he is. Anyways, I'm waiting for laundry to be done. Honestly, I kind of just want to finish packing in the morning because like we are only driving like nine hours tomorrow, so we don't have to leave super early or anything. Um... Fitz, my dude, what you doing? <gasps> what you doing? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Fitz, you're literally crazy. Oh, oh, okay. All right, well, that's good. I just like love my house, guys. Like, look at that. Oh, it's the best. Look at this dude. Like, wow. Fitz, you're so cute. I cannot wait. I mean, I can wait, but there will be a day when we look back at these videos and we're like, how was he ever that small? Also, Fitz has a really big butt. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but guys, see that? Big booty. Right, Fitz? 
For some reason, I mean, I keep calling him Kobe on accident because that's my sister's dog's name, and Quentin has randomly started calling him Finn. I, I just filled up his little Kong tire for the first time with some Kong, like, almost like cheese whiz type thing. I don't even know. Alright guys, this is like way too much stuff, but it's just one of those things where when you don't feel like packing and then you end up just throwing everything in here and like, I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't, we don't know how long we're going to be on exactly, but so unnecessary and also I already explained the suitcase situation. I'm just like way too lazy to like go through it and like <laughs> it's good enough. Also, I really need all new bedroom furniture, legit already. Not like, I don't know guys. Also, I need to get the shams replaced. I need to get comfort, uh, com like a, I need to get a bigger comforter for underneath the duvet. I love the duvet. That's from Parachute Home, by the way. I said that a billion times. I only say that just because people ask um, questions and stuff. And it's just the best duvet cover ever. Anyways, I'm gonna, I don't know if I need to charge my Kindle, but I think I might have that. I don't know. I might bring it downstairs. I haven't been reading and I really, I mean, I have been reading, but not normal, not my normal amount. So that is my goal for tonight. I want to read. I also really want to start the new um, gymnastics docuseries on Netflix. That was like a really weird way to stand up. I'm wearing shorts, I promise. But yeah, pretty much everything is set. I have my backpack, which this is just going to be like my work stuff. And then the front will be like um, Fitz's little pouch, which I've already have everything packed down below. So that is my work or my um, trip prep. All right guys, it's almost midnight. I just started watching Athlete A, but I need to go to bed because we have a drive tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I self tanned earlier with the Savannah Ayla self tanner, the gradual one, and it just gives like a healthy glow. So updates, life updates, you know? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.